Okay, telling me that I do the wrong place, I'm over the place. He was like, no, that was just me up here on you. Now, Osina, Osina said, you're talking as if I'm trying to cage you. I don't want to. I don't want to. He's the same day something. This man has a babe outside. You cannot come at him like this. He needs to stay serious. Because he has told, he has told us that he's not trying to be with anybody else. What if you like your influence to get with him? We just ask friendship level. Mm -hmm. So the Dora is like a safe space. Yeah, I didn't know. He should tell me Jordan is doing So he's, he's going to because so the Dora is mysterious. The Dora is not saying, you're talking to me. The Dora is just trying to build the friendship. She will not tell because she's lying to us and that she doesn't like him. Um, Guys, oh, did you see the investigative journalist, CIA, <laughs> FBI? And Andy turned themselves to because of Onyeka and Ozi Mata. Hey, <laughs> love what to choke me this morning. Guys, you know that Wadi and Andy are close to Onyeka and they've been asking each other questions. What's up with you and this Ozi thing? And Onyeka keeps claiming, oh, we are just friends. Nothing is going on. We are just guys, 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 man, them thing. <laughs> All those kind of things. You know, if you've been watching, Onyeka have been putting so much pressure on Ozi, you know, trying to bring out the word on from Ozzy to know, oh, if Ozzy really wants her. But you know what is going on now. And coupled with the fact that Ozzy and Onyeka have been spending, Ozzy and Victoria have been spending some time together. So Onyeka have been working really hard to know what is going on there. Baby girl has been poking to know if Ozzy really wants to lean on Ozzy, Victoria now. You will not believe that <laughs> my favorite twin turn themselves to CIA just to get the information. You know, and they've tried to have that conversation with Onyeka. Onyeka is obviously in denial, trying to claim that, oh, I don't really like him like that, like that. But take a look at Onyeka and Ozzy having back and forth like people in a relationship. Can you imagine? Onyeka is poking and, you know, trying to, like, get something from Ozzy. And Ozzy is obviously not giving him that, giving her that thing. We all know that Ozzy has said that he's in a relationship and he intends to even get married to the girl. Okay? But Onyeka, on the other hand, seems to be in denial. She likes the man. In fact, she's hoping to get a ship. But she's not getting it. Keeps questioning the guy to know what is going on. In fact, poking him to know what is going on between him and Victoria. And Ozzy is just clearing her like, Oga, you are putting in so much pressure. I'm not the kind of bed that, you know, peer on people like beds come to me. Like, he was just saying a whole manner of things. And one day and hand, we were just there listening. <laughs> Grabbing the whole information. And they were saying that they did not actually know that Onyeka seemed to like this guy this much. So it means that Onyeka has been lying to herself all this while. That Ozzy has a relationship. It's being unfair. Like, Onyeka is being unfair to Ozzy. You cannot keep poking and, you know, putting so much pressure on him like that. The only thing you can actually get from Ozzy is friendship. And from what Onyeka is doing, that thing is not friendship. <laughs> Why did Anandi say that thing is not friendship? That she's now doing like a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> it's the way Wani kept <laughs> listening on to their conversation. Hey, she will get the gist and tell Handy, like she just keep doing back and forth while they were eating. No, Nyeka is really living in denial. Because you can if you claim it's just friendship, people are just getting to know each other. Why are you questioning him every time? Why are you trying to like poke him like, oh, you need to give me this gist, you need to give me this information, what is going on, what is going on, what, uh-uh. Nah, it doesn't make any sense. So the twin have decided that they are going to speak to Yenka, and in fact, they will speak to Ozzy also to know what is actually going on. <laughs> the one that made me laugh is when Wani said that Onyeka will not, you know, tell them the truth because she has been lying to herself that she doesn't like the guy that much. But it is obvious. How will you keep asking the guy a question every AK market? You want to know what is going on. You want to know. You want to know. Uh-uh. If you don't really care, so why are you so interested? <laughs> and when it seems like they are not getting the gist they want, 
Hadi had to, you know, stand up and re-strategize. Went to the kitchen while Wani now went close to them, you know. But she placed herself as if she's trying to, like, look at herself in the mirror. But she was just there to grab the gist. <laughs> while Wani, on the other hand, was... <laughs> These two ladies, I love what they did this morning. And the whole essence of doing this thing is just to get the gist firsthand. Because whenever they ask Onyeka, Onyeka is always denying it, you know, you know, trying to be like, oh, we are just G, G, nothing. So they have to like strategize and place themselves <laughs> in a position whereby they can get all the tea. They can get all the information. <laughs> wow. Onyeka should just calm down. She should calm down. All this, we are G, we are G, is a lie. Feelings don't they enter. Because if feelings is not entry, why are you so why, like why are you so stressed about the guy speaking to Victoria? And one hand they even mentioned that if she keeps doing like this, Ozzy will lean more on, you know, Victoria. Because Victoria is just that cool babe, you know, she's not doing too much. She's willing to get to know Ozzy. Like the friendship between both of them is flowing very natural. Okay. So they said, if Oyeka keeps poking and poking this guy, he's going to lean more on Victoria. And by that time, more trouble will start. Guys, what do you think about this Oyeka? <laughs> Oyeka likes Ozzy, but she's lying to herself. <laughs> Wani X and you really care about Oyeka, okay? They are doing everything possible to make sure that she doesn't get hurt in the process. And no matter how they keep asking Oyeka questions about this whole thing, she keeps denying it. So that is the whole reason. That is the whole essence of them, you know, trying to poke nose and get, you know, eavesdrop and get the information firsthand so that at the end of the day, they will go and approach her with what they've heard. <laughs> Oh, finally, finally, Nelly has woken up. Baby girl is refreshed. We all know the whole back and forth that happened yesterday. How Chingwe is trying to like break her relationship with Suj. Okay, all in the name of, oh, Suj once approached me and said he likes me. Okay, and all of that. Whereas the whole thing is just a joke. Chingwe does not like Nelly. And Chinwe is doing everything possible to break this relationship going on between Nelly and Suj. Because Chinwe is the one that approached Suj, asking Suj, who do you like in the house? Who do you want to be in a ship with? And the guy said, who I want to be in a ship with is already, you know, already in a ship. You kept poking the guy and the guy said, okay, you are the one I like. And after some while, he said, oh, I'm actually joking. But Chinwe has been running that narrative. That, oh, Suj is trying to break a relationship with Zion. Can you imagine? Now, the whole gist has gotten to Nelly. Nelly is now like, ah, what is going on? How can Suj want, want to break your relationship? So the whole thing has been causing fight between Suj and Nelly. Chinwe went to ask questions. She's the one that poked. She's the one that kept stressing Suj to get information. She now got information now, not trying to use the information against him. Doesn't make any sense. That thing where. Oh, guys, am I the only one that saw journalist Wani X and this morning doing the lost work? 